Welcome to the Milky Way Galaxy, home to Earth and several other planets. In this chapter, we will take a brief tour of the expansive universe we live in. By comparing Earth to the others that share our star, we will hopefully realize how unique and special Earth is and why we need to protect it. And remember that you can use the settings in the bottom right corner of YouTube to add English subtitles, as well as translate to Spanish or any other language you would like. Also, you can change the speed of this video to either make me talk faster or talk slower. Please enjoy. Our solar system contains a star and eight planets. Scientists at NASA, which stands for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, work hard to understand these planets and how they were formed. One problem they still have is defining what a planet actually is. There is no one definition that easily classifies what a planet should be. Until 2006, Pluto was considered the ninth planet in the solar system, but because the definition of a planet had changed, Pluto was taken off the list. The four planets closest to the Sun, called Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, are called terrestrial planets. Terrestrial, meaning rock, describes the landscape of these four planets. Over the billions of years, these planets were closer to the Sun, and so were impacted differently than the planets that were farther away from the Sun. Hydrogen and helium in the atmospheres are exceptionally light, and so the heat of the Sun, in combination with the planet's size meant that they could not hold on to these gases. This created planets that had thinner atmospheres. Further out we have what we call the Jovian planets, called Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. These planets are colder and larger, and so they could hold on to the gases in their atmospheres. This caused their atmospheres to grow tremendously, eventually their atmosphere contained more mass than their solid cores. For this reason, we call them gas giants. So, to summarize, our solar system is made of eight planets. Each planet, has its own characteristics, and travels on its own path around the Sun. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars make up the inner planets and are made of rock. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune are the outer planets and are made up mostly of gases. The Sun is the center of our solar system, and its mass makes up most of the mass of our whole solar system. The word solar means of the sun, which comes from the root word sol, or sun. Even though the sun is pretty important to us, it is not the only sun in our universe, and is not the largest. Our sun is medium-sized and yellow. This might seem obvious to us, but the color of the sun tells us a lot about how old the sun is and how hot it is. Let us move on to the planets themselves. Mercury is first on our tour because it is the closest to the Sun. Mercury has no moons and less gravity than Earth. Because it is so close to the Sun, the planet is extremely hot. So hot, in fact, that it has little atmosphere and little water. Any water on the surface would boil due to the heat, but there are small amounts of water preserved as ice at the poles. Maybe there is even a Santa Claus. Venus is the next planet on our list, which was named after the Roman goddess of love. Venus has a very thick atmosphere and this traps in all the heat given off by the sun. This is an extreme example of global warming that has made Venus the hottest in the solar system. Venus has no moons, but is about the same size as Earth, with many other similarities. But if it were not for its thick atmosphere, the planet might be the most likely to inhabit life. There are theories that if you detonate a nuclear bomb on Venus, the atmosphere will change and perhaps result in conditions better for sustaining life. You might recognize this third planet because it is our own. As you may know, Earth is perfectly positioned so that it contains liquid water, along with many other unique characteristics we will cover in future videos. The presence of water is especially important as we will discuss later. 
Earth has a medium-thick atmosphere, perfect for protecting us from the sun, along with letting in enough light for plants. We have one moon, which is about a third the size of Earth. Earth is the focus of the rest of this video series. Mars receives a lot of attention for the possibility of having life, but it is not perfect. Mars has no surface water, which would not be helpful for many living things, but there is water in the form of ice. There are two moons and vicious storms and high winds that devastate the surface. There is no clear proof of life on Mars, but there is methane gas, which leads some scientists to believe that there were ancient bacteria living on the red planet. Between Mars and Jupiter is an asteroid belt, which is a collection of rocks orbiting around the Sun. There is no water here, but the movement of the asteroid belt tells scientists mathematical information about how the universe was formed. Jupiter is the largest planet, and fifth on our journey. Jupiter is called a gas giant, meaning that most of its mass is actually the atmosphere of gases that surrounds the solid core. Jupiter has rings and 67 moons of various size. If you look closely on a detailed picture of Jupiter, you can see the Great Red Spot, which is a storm that has been raging the surface since Galileo observed it in his telescope 400 years ago. Next, we have Saturn. It is another gas giant and is famous for its rings. The rings around Saturn are not solid, but are made of tiny pieces of rock and ice. Uranus has an unusual story, mostly because it turns sideways compared to the other seven planets. Uranus spins sideways, probably because it was hit by a comet or asteroid that disrupted its normal movement. This planet has thin rings and 27 moons. Neptune is the farthest away planet, with 13 moons and very strong winds, reaching over 400 miles per hour. As I said before, Pluto was considered a planet until 2006, when changes in the definition of a planet renamed it a Plutoid. It has an irregular orbit, which is tilted and wider compared to the eight planets of our solar system. Pluto has three moons, one is actually half the size of Pluto. Eris, a recently discovered body, is also a Plutoid. For those of you interested in learning more about the solar system, there are also other areas to research, including meteors, comets, space dust and satellites. In future videos, we will take a closer look at Earth and its amazing characteristics. Allow me to leave you with this. Our solar system is just one in 500 in the Milky Way galaxy. Most scientists agree that the chances of having a planet with life as complex as the life we see on Earth very unlikely. This is because of the physical and chemical requirements for living things. Water is the best sign of life, and Earth is the only planet we have found with so much water, and with the best temperatures. If the planet was too cold or too hot, as we saw on Venus and Mars, life could not exist. This shows the importance of protecting Earth, because Earth is quickly changing for the worse, and humans are to blame. On a positive note, remember this. In the whole universe, there is only one of you. Be humble, for you are made of Earth. Be noble, for you are made of stars.